You're in touch with Kaleidoscope. I'm Leon Bibb. Always good to have you with us. Life Bank hosts its annual Stepping for Life event on November the 8th. Multicultural coordinator Yolanda Hamilton and kidney recipient James Burns are both here to tell us about Step for Life and about Life Bank as well. Good to have you both with us. Good to have you both with us. Yolanda, let's begin with you. You're the multicultural outreach coordinator for Life Bank. Refresh our memory. What does Life Bank do? Well, Life Bank is Northeast Ohio's organ procurement organization. We're a nonprofit and we facilitate the organ donation process. Um, we cover over 20 counties within Northeast Ohio and we work with 80 hospitals within, the, within our region. And our mission is to save and heal lives through organ, eye, and tissue donation and transplantation. Because when we're gone, we really don't need those organs anymore. Right? Exactly. And we should leave those organs for somebody who is in desperate need. Exactly. Somebody like James Burns, you were in desperate need for kidneys, weren't you, James? Yes, Tell I was. me about your, your, your experience as a kidney recipient. Um, I was in undergraduate school at Morgan State University, and uh, I was starting to begin to feel ill, and um, I thought I just had a cold, and uh, we ended up going to the emergency room where my blood pressure was really high, and they told me I lost about 30% of my kidney function, mm -hmm. and I could maintain with medication. Uh, eventually, over the course of six months, my kidneys fell altogether. Uh -huh. And um, my mother actually donated a kidney to me uh, within a year. Uh -huh. And I was able to graduate just a semester late, uh -huh. uh, joined Cap Alpha Soft Training Incorporated, mm -hmm. and um, matriculated back to Cleveland. Yeah. And your mother was able to donate one of her kidneys. Of course, yes. we have two kidneys, those, yes, and you only need really one to, yes, to, to keep it going. So she was able to give you one yes, of those. And that we can do, sometimes we can do that without having to pass away. Correct. Um, yes, that's but, correct. But the other organs uh, uh, happen uh, uh, upon one's passing away. So you're raising money, you're doing research, so you've got an event to raise money and bring more awareness about the whole life bank uh, uh, procedure, right? Yes, um, we have an annual event, actually it's in its fourth year, the Stepping for Life Greek Step Show competition. And it's not a traditional step show, it's really a vehicle to spread awareness about the need for organ, eye, and tissue don donors within the multicultural communities, specifically with African Americans. Currently there's over 120,000 individuals in the U.S. alone that are awaiting life-saving transplants. And 50% of those individuals are from um, racial, ethnic backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And the greatest need really within the African-American community for organs is with kidneys. We actually um, account for 40% of the individuals who are waiting for kidney transplants. Uh -huh. And the step show we're talking about, and you might explain what some people may not know what a step show is. You okay. Give us a thumbnail sketch of what a step show is. A step show is a competition between um, individuals from historically black Greek organizations, also referred to as a divine nine. Mm -hmm. They do um, percussive, mu percussive movements on stage in which they're competing, um, which really dates back to the origins of African dance and so it's really a cultural experience. We have other components of the show as well including um, Alex Simon formerly of the Broadway production Stomp and also comedian yeah. Joe Torrey who will be our host this year. That's going to be Saturday, November the 8th at 6.30 at Cleveland Public Auditorium, which is at a 500 Lakeside Avenue, downtown Cleveland, right across the street from Cleveland City Hall. Saturday, November 8th at 6.30 in the evening at Cleveland Public Auditorium. This is vital to what you're talking about. I mean, you're a recipient of a, you, you, know, you know the importance of, a, 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 of transplants, yes, sir. kidney transplants. So, speak to that a little bit, won't you, James? You know, um, while I was uh, waiting my transplant, I attended uh, dialysis three days weekly, and I saw young people, elderly people uh, from different parts of our community, not only the African-American community, mm -hmm. but uh, other communities as well, literally pass away, uh -huh. uh, waiting for these transplants, and it's vital. Um, and people really don't understand that families are suffering because they're losing loved ones, and we have the ability to, to reach out and help. Especially in the African American community, in the black Particularly community, in the because race plays a part when we're talking about matching uh, an organ from one body to another body. That there's a racial connection. Yes, right? yes. Individuals can receive transplants from 
individuals who don't share the same racial or ethnic background, but it's better for, for example, an African American to receive a transplant from another African American because individuals who have similar genetic characteristics due to race, it increases the less, um, the it decreases the probability that yeah. the organ would reject. Mm -hmm. So wh where, where do we start if we want to get in line to, uh, to, to leave our organs, uh, especially when we pass away and we're all leaving? That's a fact. We're all leaving at some point. Yes. Where do we begin that process? Well, the first process would be to become a registered organ donor involves either re saying yes when you renew your driver's license mm -hmm. at the BMV, or you can also register online through our website, which mm -hmm. is www.lifebank.org. And um, we also ask individuals to talk to their families about their decision to donate as well. I've got my driver's license here, and I'll just show you that at the bottom of that driver's license, there's a little heart. Mm -hmm. And I've said, when I'm gone, if I'm, when I go, I, I'm not leaving. I hope to not leave soon. But when I leave, right down at the bottom there, you see a little heart there. Don't worry about my age and all of that. <laughs> that you won't see that, and you won't see any other vital numbers. That means take the organs that you need, the organs that are... And that, 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 that's been my commitment, because where I'm going, I will not need them anymore. So I, I, I want to leave those more. And uh, I got 30 seconds remaining. Uh, there's something called Mission Moments during the show. What's yes. that? It's our way to highlight individual stories, such as Jay, um, James Byrne's story about the uh, need for organ, eye, and tissue donation. So um, we've identified Mission Moments from individuals who are part of the Greek community who have a donation-related story. Yeah. Well, good. Thank you so much for being on the broadcast. And James, you're doing well? I am. Because of those kidneys, you're doing okay? Yes, sir. Glad to have you with us, James. Glad to be here. Yeah. And you're feeling good? I'm feeling great. Hey. Wonderful, wonderful. James Burns is a kidney recipient, and Yolanda Hamilton is multicultural uh, outreach coordinator for LifeMank. They're having their big event Saturday, November the 8th, 630, at Cleveland Public Hall. Tickets are available? Yes. Just go, huh? And if you go to 888 uh, life more information on everything we're talking about, you see at the bottom of the screen, or lifebank.org. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, going to take a break. We'll be right back in just a moment.